Hello internet world, welcome, welcome to a new video on the Geeky Noise channel. In this video I'm going to be giving you my review of what's a really handy piece of kit. Uh, this is the A10 KVM over IP, uh, a really useful device that's going to allow you to uh, control and monitor uh, a computer over IP just with a, an ethernet cable connection to your network. Uh, very, very useful. Let's show you what's inside the box. Before we switch over and do that, full disclosure, this was sent in free of charge by the manufacturer. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular, nor has any money exchanged hands for this video. I'm just going to share with you my opinion and how you can use this product. So let's take a closer look at what you get inside the box. So as well as the, um, the uh, KVM itself, you do of course get a whole array of accessories. So let's just run through uh, these uh, these uh, we've got these here which are really useful little sort of I think they're like bracket mounts I'm not I haven't really looked into how I would use these but they're some sort of mounting bracket we've also got a USB cable which is going to be used for uh, connecting the device to your computer this is a mini USB to USB A we also get some additional cables which are going to aid you in connecting your computer uh, to the switch itself. So some breakout cables here uh, which connect to the various ports. Very important that you get these with your KVM. These are very specialist cables and uh, really nicely made. Good quality cables that are included with the switch. Uh, then we also get a quick start guide. Here you can see the model number, it's the CN8000A. This is a quick start guide, it's going to guide you through connecting everything and how you're going to control uh, your computer. Uh, the port array and LED array are run through with you very shortly. And then we also get a metal plate. Uh, this metal plate is going to allow you to attach this to a rack. Uh, obviously it's not converting it to full width, it will just attach to the side panel on a rack. In addition to the plate you also get a little bag with screws, some little pipettes or feet, uh, warranty and how you ground the uh, product itself. And then we've got the KVM, so this is the CN8000A. Now the port array, so we have got the uh, LAN port just here. Let me just give you a closer look at this. So we've got the LAN port on the left, so this is going to connect to your network. We've got the LUC port, which is for your going to your laptop or your computer. It's like a console port. Uh, then we've also got a uh, firmware upgrade or reset switch. You use this for multiple things. Then we've got a link LED, which is going to uh, tell you you're connected to your network. And this is a gigabit Ethernet port, by the way. Uh, link LED here and then we've got a power LED here. So Ethernet port, link port, power LED. Ethernet LED, link LED, correction, and power LED on the end. And it's completely clear on the sides as you can see. And then on the back, this is where all of the main connections are. We've got the input for the power jack. We've got the PC KVM port. We've got the PS2, PS2 USB console port. We've got the power over net port and also an RS-232 port. Now, you can use this to connect to a computer and then you can control that remotely over an intranet and you can use either a Windows PC uh, uh, application. I believe there's also a Linux application, maybe don't quote me on that, but there is another application you can use. Uh, or indeed you can use a standard web browser to monitor and control the console. Uh, and you can also use an iPad app as well, which I thought was really neat. The fact that you can actually monitor uh, a computer over the intranet with an iPad. That's really good. Really easy to uh, configure, really easy to get up and running. Uh, and even using a browser on this, you just put in the standard sort of IP address, the default IP address for this, and uh, then you can actually uh, set up your mouse and keyboard and uh, actually control the computer when you're not sitting at it. Very, very useful to be able to control something over IP because it means you don't have to be at the desk at 
of the computer you're controlling. So rather than a standard sort of KVM switch uh, that you maybe would control two, three, four computers with one keyboard and one mouse, this is allowing you then a, a, an additional sort of feature uh, of being able to control a single computer over IP just with a Cat5 or Cat6 Ethernet cable. It's really well made, it's metal uh, housing to this uh, and a very useful device in a business environment. Uh, so this is the A10 single port KVN, uh, model number is the uh, CN8000A. Really useful, really well made, uh, good user interface as well to control things, uh, easy to set up and uh, well worth checking out. So a little bit of a different device for you there on the channel. Uh, something that's really suited to more of like a, a business environment, uh, but very, very useful in its own right. Uh, if you want to pick up one of these for yourself, then please do check out the uh, links down in the video description area. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website as well. Uh, also, uh, we have got some people in the live view, uh, sorry, in the live broadcast, uh, Somebody saying Parthipan saying that's old tech. Who uses the old connectors? You'd be surprised. Uh, KVMs um, very much control other computers via those older connect older connectors. There are different ones. I, I actually featured one on the channel about two or three weeks ago, something like that, with some different connections on it. But these are still very relevant uh, in uh, sort of the business world. So, but I take your point. Thank you very much for your comment and question. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who's tuned in live as well. I really do appreciate it. If you've got any more questions or comments, please do put them in the regular comment section below. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. Uh, I've got plenty more tech videos coming up uh, this week and, of course, in the weeks to come as well, weeks and months to come. So please do subscribe so you don't miss those. Uh, the Geek & Noise community is awesome. I really do love the Geek & Noise community. The fact that you all take part in the comment section is really nice. Uh, you've also seen uh, the Geek Noise channel evolve over all these years. It's been going so, so many years. I still love doing it as much as I did day one as I do today. Uh, and I've got a really interesting video coming up either, is it tomorrow or Friday? I think it might be Friday. I've got a video coming up showing you this overhead camera setup. I've had so, so many of you ask what mount I use, what camera I use, how's it all connected uh, and how I do the live broadcast. So in that video I'll be covering the overhead camera setup, I'll give you a little sneak peek at the microphone which is just off camera at the moment and I'll also give you a little look at the lights that I use as well. So do subscribe so you don't miss that video. Uh, just one last thing just to remind you this is the A10 KVM over IP, the CN8000A really useful product for controlling a computer over IP so just with that Ethernet cable very very uh, good product really well built so please do check it out that's it for this video thank you very much for watching everyone I really do appreciate it I'll see you in another video very very soon